Exodus chapter 30, you shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood. Its length shall be a cubit, and its width a cubit. It shall be square, and its height shall be two cubits. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. You shall overlay it with pure gold, its top, its sides around it, and its horns, and you shall make a gold molding around it. You shall make two golden rings for it under its molding, on its two ribs, on its two sides you shall make them, and they shall be for places for poles with which to bear it. You shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put it before the veil that is by the Ark of the Covenant, before the mercy seat that is over the Covenant, where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn incense of sweet spices on it every morning. When he tends the lamps, he shall burn it. When Aaron lights the lamps at evening, he shall burn it, a perpetual incense before Yahweh throughout your generations. You shall offer no strange incense on it, nor burnt offering, nor meal offering, and you shall pour no drink offering on it. Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once in the year. With the blood of the sin offering of atonement once in the year, he shall make atonement for it throughout your generations. It is most holy to Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, When you take a census of the children of Israel, according to those who are counted among them, then each man shall give a ransom for his soul to Yahweh when you count them, that there be no plague among them when you count them. They shall give this, everyone who passes over to those who are counted, half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary, half a shekel for an offering to Yahweh. Everyone who passes over to those who are counted, from twenty years old and upward, shall give the offering to Yahweh. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than the half shekel, when they give the offering of Yahweh, to make atonement for your souls. You shall take the atonement money from the children of Israel, and shall appoint it for the service of the tent of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before Yahweh, to make atonement for your souls. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, You shall also make a basin of bronze, and its base of bronze, in which to wash. You shall put it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in it. When they go into the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water, that they not die, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn an offering made by fire to Yahweh. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they not die. This shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his descendants throughout their generations. Moreover, Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Also take fine spices of liquid myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of fragrant cinnamon half as much, even two hundred and fifty, and of fragrant cane, two hundred and fifty, and of cassia five hundred, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, and a hin of olive oil. You shall make it into a holy anointing oil, a perfume compounded after the art of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. You shall use it to anoint the tent of meeting, the Ark of the Covenant, the table and all its articles, the lampstand and its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the basin with its base. You shall sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatever touches them shall be holy. You shall anoint Aaron and his sons, and sanctify them, that they may minister to me in the priest's office. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on man's flesh, and do not make any like it, according to its composition. It is holy. It shall be holy to you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on a stranger, he shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh said to Moses, Take to yourself sweet spices, gum resin, onager, and galbanum, sweet spices with pure frankincense. There shall be an equal weight of each. You shall make incense of it, a perfume after the art of the perfumer, seasoned with salt, pure and holy. You shall beat some of it very small, and put some of it before the covenant in the tent of meeting, where I will meet with you. It shall be to you most holy. You shall not make this incense according to its composition for yourselves. It shall be to you holy for Yahweh. Whoever shall make any like that, the smell of it, he shall be cut off from his people. Exodus chapter 31 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have called by name Bezalel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all kinds of workmanship, to devise skillful works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in bronze, and in cutting of stones for setting, and in carving of wood, to work in all kinds of workmanship. Behold, I myself have appointed with him Ohol, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the heart of all who are wise-hearted I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant, the mercy seat that is on it, all the furniture of the tent, the table and its vessels, the pure lampstand with all its vessels, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its vessels, the basin and its base, the finely worked garments, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, the anointing oil, and the incense of sweet spices for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded you they shall do. 
Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Most certainly you shall keep my Sabbaths, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahweh who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death, or whoever does any work therein. That soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days shall work be done, that on the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, holy to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day shall surely be put to death. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When he finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses the two tablets of the covenant, stone tablets, written with God's finger. Chapter 32 Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. When he saw them, Jacob said, This is God's army. He called the name of that place Mahanaim. Jacob sent messengers in front of him to Esau, his brother, to the land of Seir, the field of Edom. He commanded them, saying, This is where you shall tell my lord, Esau, this is where your servant, Jacob, says, I have lived as a foreigner with Laban, and stayed until now. I have cattle, donkeys, flocks, male servants, and female servants. I have sent to tell my lord, that I may find favor in your sight. The messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau. He is coming to meet you, and four hundred men are with him. And Jacob was greatly afraid and was distressed. He divided the people who were with him, along with the flocks, the herds, and the camels, into two companies. He said, If Esau comes to the one company and strikes it, then the company which is left will escape. Jacob said, God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, Yahweh, who said to me, Return to your country and to your relatives, and I will do you good. I am not worthy of the least of all the loving kindnesses and of all the truth which you have shown to your servant, for with just my staff I crossed over this Jordan, and now I have become two companies. Please deliver me from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he come and strike me and the mothers with the children. You said, I will surely do you good, and make your offspring as the sand of the sea, which can't be counted because there are so many. He stayed there that night, and took from that which he had with him a present for Esau, his brother, two hundred female goats and twenty male goats, two hundred ewes and twenty rams, thirty milk camels and their colts, forty cows, ten bulls, twenty female donkeys and ten foals. He delivered them into the hands of his servants, every herd by itself, and said to his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space between herd and herd. He commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau, my brother, meets you, and asks you, saying, Whose are you? Where are you going? Whose are these before you? And you shall say, They are your servant, Jacob's. It is a present sent to my lord, Esau. Behold, he also is behind us. He commanded also the second, and the third, and all that followed the herds, saying, this is how you shall speak to Esau when you find him. You shall say, not only that, but behold, your servant Jacob is behind us. For, he said, I will appease him with the present that goes before me, and afterward I will see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. So the present passed over before him, and he himself stayed that night in the camp. He rose up that night, and took his two wives, and his two servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the fort of the Jabbok. He took them, and sent them over the stream, and sent over that which he had. Jacob was left alone, and wrestled with a the man there until the breaking of the day. When he saw that he didn't prevail against him, the man touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was strained as he wrestled. The man said, Let me go, for the day breaks. Jacob said, I won't let you go unless you bless me. He said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, Your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have fought with God and with men, and have prevailed. Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. He said, Why is it that you ask what my name is? So he blessed him there. Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for he said, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. The sun rose on him as he passed over Peniel, and he limped because of his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel don't eat the sinew of the hip, which is on the hollow of the thigh, to this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh and the sinew of the hip. Exodus chapter 33 Yahweh spoke to Moses, Depart, go up from here, you and the people that you have brought up out of the land of Egypt, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your offspring. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Go to a land flowing with milk and honey, that I will not go up among you, for you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you on the way. When the people heard this evil news, they mourned, and no one put on his jewelry. Yahweh had said to Moses, Tell the children of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. If I were to go up among you for one moment, I would consume you. Therefore now take off your jewelry from you, that I may know what to do to you. 
the children of Israel stripped themselves of their jewelry from Mount Horeb onward. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far away from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. Everyone who saw Yahweh went out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. When Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose up and stood, everyone at their tent door, and watched Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered into the tent, the pillar of cloud descended, stood at the door of the tent, and Yahweh spoke with Moses. All the people saw the pillar of cloud stand at the door of the tent, and all the people rose up and worshipped, everyone at their tent door. Yahweh spoke to Moses face to face, as a man speaks to his friend. He turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, didn't depart from the tent. Moses said to Yahweh, Behold, you tell me, bring up this people, and you haven't let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now therefore, if I have found favor in your sight, please show me your way, now that I may know you, so that I may find favor in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. He said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Moses said to him, If your presence doesn't go with me, don't carry us up from here. For how would people know that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Isn't it that you go with us, so that we are separated, I and your people, from all the people who are on the surface of the earth? Yahweh said to Moses, I will do this thing also that you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Please show me your glory. He said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim Yahweh's name before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. He said, You cannot see my face, for man may not see me alive. Yahweh also said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. It will happen, while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you will see my back, but my face shall not be seen. 